0.001% is the chance that you have of being an Olympian. And yet we sit here today. Keyshawn Davis, our Olympic medalist, welcome. My name is Keyshawn Davis. Um, I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. I'm a family of five. I'm a boxer. Me and my brothers, we all boxers. We're looking to change the game. Oh, body shot! Right. I mean, I'm the target bullseye body shot! At 135 division, everybody better be on lookout. Here is the highly skilled amateur sensation and the fast rising prospect, the businessman, Keyshawn Davis. The businessman. I mean business. <laughs> I feel like just making it to the Olympics, like a lot of work is not even, you know, how to describe it. <laughs> like I've been doing this since I was nine years old. Since the first day I stepped in the gym, I never stopped boxing. From elementary to middle school to high school, I graduated, like, it's a lifestyle, you know? See the sprint from the sand? These don't get your, get your calf muscles right. You haven't seen Manny Pacquiao? He did a lot of these right here. Our coach who started us off, she would make us get up early in the morning and run and stuff like that. We ain't liking as kids, but it was just something we had to do. It, it prepared us for stuff uh, for now. I mean, when you on the sand, like your feet sinks in. You know, you walk in regular cement after that, you know, your feet feels light and you feel more elusive. And this is the type of stuff we grew up on, so it ain't nothing to us now. Back get real active. Back get real active. My mentality going into the ring, I change into like a different person. I try to be like an open person, but like when it's fight time, I get like mean. Where do we begin with Keyshawn Davis when everybody you talk to, all the experts say he's a can't miss five star guy? As soon as the bell rings and we stepping out, the first thing I'm gonna do is to see if you scared. If I would jab at him or if I would just like try to scare him and faint him or something like that. I just see how he reacts off that. You know, a lot of times I see people try to do it back to me. And it's like, okay, I got control off you just by you trying to copy me. From there, you know, I just start taking control. Look at this attack here. And look at how calm and cool and in control he is. Oh, body shot! I mean, I'm the target bullseye body shot! Keyshawn, the businessman, David! Today was a great day, man. We, we trained hard for this. Me and my DB3 brother standing behind me. And Keon Davis gonna get the job done. So we just carrying it on as a family and we're gonna keep going up from here. We all know it's not just me, it's me and my brothers. We just all on the same track with stuff. Coming up in the house, man, it was the same thing. We all pushed each other. DB3 stands for Davis Brothers, and it's three of us. We all fighters, it's our brand. Our oldest brother came up with it. We be just pushing it right now. It's funny because our mother would tell us, like, our family is from New York, but we moved to Virginia because our mother said she wanted us to get out of that environment and she wanted us away from the city and something more, you know, in the cut, I would say. And she chose the wrong city, I feel like. <laughs> it's a smaller city than New York, but it's the trenches. Just growing up out here, honestly, we really had to adapt to our environment. It was no soft in us. It was no running from nothing. So like, with no father growing up in the trenches, like, we raised each other, for real, for real. We came up together and shoot. We here now, you know? Like Norfolk, like one of these cities where they make great champions like Pernell Whitaker. You know, great people come out of here. Only a few, but great people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is our boxing gym. Sometimes we'll play basketball, then go to practice, and after practice, come back and play basketball. Sometimes we used to skip practice because we was on the basketball gym, basketball court. And when Coach Pete used to come out the back door, we used to run like, oh! 
We gotta go to bed. <laughs> Cause she knew it was thousands of kids out here though. So she's just out here looking. Now, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find them in the mix. She found us. And then she'll call our mama like, they didn't come to the gym today. They was out on that court. <laughs> time before a training camp, I like to come out here. I like to train myself, honestly, before training camps. <laughs> this spot is just like, for me, it's like my peacemaker. The water right here, we can run around the lake. One lap around the lake is about a mile some change. We can do sprints on the hill right here. It's like the peacemaker, like the calm before the storm. My first two real challenges my big brother left boxing, and it was kind of like at the same time as my coach Peak left boxing. I've been boxing all my life, and then we had lost our coach, and I just strayed away from the gym. It, uh, like a week turned to two, two weeks turned to a month, and months turned to years. I ain't really have no big brother to lean on. It was, wasn't like. Kelvin, like, what we gonna do? It was like, Keyshawn, are you gonna keep this thing rolling or it's gonna be nothing for us? That's when I started learning how to train myself. Started jumping from gym to gym in Norfolk. Started figure out little workout routines I could do by myself. I just kept pushing. I kept running every single day on my own, every time going from school. I just kept doing stuff actively. Cause I know like at the end of the day, I just really felt like it was gonna be something good down the road. And it really happened that way. A Norfolk native is on his way to competing at the Tokyo Olympics. Keyshawn Davis will represent Team USA as a member of the boxing team. When I got to the Olympics, they gave me of course, the hardest bracket in the Olympics. The first day was 5-0, the second day I fought the number one guy in my weight class and I stopped him. Third guy was from Russia. I pulled it out with an eight count in the last round. Semi-finals, 5-0 decision against him. And then I fought the Cuban, as everybody know. I thought I won the silver. I was sad. It was no tears. It was no frustration. It was no real anger. I was just sad, like, damn. But like after a while, my friend, Tyler, he's like, bro, you just fought in the Olympics. I don't think he realized, like, What's going on right now? Coming back home, and you know, when you're on the plane, you got nothing to do. So I'm like, I'm about to watch my fights. So I'm watching this, I'm like, I just start smiling like, dang, I did do that. <laughs> like, I did do that. I do hereby proclaim August 21st, 2021, as Keyshawn Davis Day in the city of Norfolk. I feel like somebody coming from this area, coming from Norfolk, if they can overcome the environment, I feel like a star is born. It's your first time back? Yeah, man, I haven't been. I, I drove past the gym, I was like deja vu. I was <laughs> like, crazy. oh my gosh. Wow, <laughs> boy, <laughs> how you doing? Alright, all right. You guys look so big, man. Y'all so much bigger than me, man. I'm still your height. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's been it's been a while. It's been too long, really. Seven years. Seven years. There's not a coach I know that wouldn't want to produce an Olympian. That is like the ultimate. I saw him being great uh, in the boxing ring. I knew he would be. I want to be move fast. I feel like all the greats move fast. Oh, you picking up on me? Oh, I. I want something that's extravagant, something that blows people's mind, something that keeps people real attention. I don't want to be a fighter that it walks in the park. Like, move me fast. Give me a challenge. Give me a good opponent. 
Like, don't baby me, because I'm far from that. What can't this young man do? He can do it all. Precision, precise, double uppercut right there. There is confidence that is brewing for the youngster as he begins his professional career. Picking his spots, very methodically breaking down his opponent. Oh, beautiful shot there for a moment. Stunts are ESPN top rank, I'm ready, man. Push me as fast as you want to. I'm going to take it to the highest limit, and I promise you I will not let y'all down.